Hi, I'm Dr. Breen from the Breen Center of Optimal Health. Today, I want to talk to you about human growth hormone or HGH. If you're a man or a woman and feel like your muscles are weaker, you're having a hard time recovering from workouts, your memory is slipping and your body fat is increasing, and you need to understand what HGH is and how hormones work. They are often prescribed to reverse many of the symptoms of cellular aging and to improve the patient's overall quality of life. HGH has been extensively studied, is FDA approved, and if prescribed properly has been shown in the medical literature to have significant health benefits. So what is HGH and how do I get my levels checked? HGH is a hormone produced by the pituitary gland in the brain. It signals the liver to produce primarily two compounds, insulin-like growth factor one and also IGF binding protein three. These two compounds then travel to various cells of the body to assist in normal physiological processes. HGH is produced in the highest amounts in early adolescence and adulthood. IGF-1 levels will peak in the mid 500s in a teenager, and then we lose about 50% production every seven years after the age of 30. The typical IGF-1 level that I see in patients over the age of 40 is in the 50 to 175 range. To truly measure how much human growth hormone you're producing, you have to be admitted to the hospital and have something called an insulin challenge test. However, this is rarely done in practice as this test is contraindicated in patients over the age of 55 or in anyone who has suffered a concussion or traumatic brain injuries. It is for this reason that many doctors look at IGF-1 levels. In the family practice literature, IGF-1 levels less than 175 correlate with human growth hormone deficiency. So what are the clinical features of low growth hormone? The symptoms of HGH deficiency can be discussed in the context of neuropsychiatric, cognitive, cardiac, metabolic, muscular, and bone symptoms. For example, we see patients complaining of changes in memory, processing speed, and attention. They can have a lack of well-being, be depressed, anxious, or feel socially isolated. They will certainly complain of fatigue, lack of strength, decreased muscle mass, and an increase in abdominal fat. When we look at these patients metabolically, we see decreases in bone density, impaired cardiac function, increases in plaque in the arterial wall, worsening cholesterol, insulin resistance, and an increased propensity to develop blood clots. So what are the benefits of using HGH? The most respected endocrinology and medical journals in the world have studied the importance of HGH, and here are some of their conclusions. HGH treatment for 10 years increases lean body mass, muscle mass, improves bone density, reduces body fat, specifically visceral or organ fat, it reduces carotid thickness, improves psychological well being, improves cholesterol profiles, improves blood sugars, and reduces cardiovascular risk to include heart attack and stroke. It also will improve someone's mood, and it is one of the only hormones that will thicken the collagen and elastin layers of the skin and improve skin thickness. This is why I discuss HGH with all my patients in my practice. In overall, patients state they have an improved quality of life. So here's a common question that I get. Is human growth hormone safe? The short answer is yes. Human growth hormone has been extensively studied and has FDA approval and the side effect profile is very predictable. Side effects are generally dose dependent, meaning the higher the dose, the more likely you're going to have side effects and will also affect old, older patients who are obese more frequently. It is for this reason we start low and we go slow. So between five to 18% of patients will complain of fluid retention, especially if they're eating the standard American diet. Some patients will complain of joint aches, or muscle aches, and 2% of patients will report carpal tunnel syndrome. Many patients read online about HGH increasing the risk of cancer, but that has not been demonstrated in the medical literature to date. So how is HGH prescribed? HGH is given as a daily subcutaneous injection given at bedtime using a 30 gauge insulin syringe. You use it seven days out of the week, contrary to what you read online about Cyclant or using it five days and taking the weekends off. And the two most common brands used are Zomactin and Omnitrope, both of which become much more affordable. So if you would like to learn more information about how to be evaluated for HDH deficiency, 
would like to schedule a consult with me personally, simply give us a call at 877-721-0047 and visit us on the web at greencenter.com. Lastly, if you enjoyed this video, please click on the like button and feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel for regular videos about hormone replacement and functional medicine. For more details and information, please contact us at 877-721-0047 or visit the FAQ section of our website at www.greencenter.com.